Good afternoon, everyone. So for today's session, we will be discussing integration by trigonometric substitution. So uh, if the integrand involves a squared minus x squared, you have to substitute x by a sine theta. But if the integrand involves a squared plus x squared, you need to substitute the value of x by a tangent theta. On the other hand, if the integrand involves x squared minus a squared, you have to substitute the value of x by a secant theta. So, for example, we have here uh, evaluate the uh, integral of dw all over w squared, squared of w squared plus 16. In this case, this, this can also be written as integral of dw all over w squared, square root of w squared, plus 4 squared. Since 4 squared is also equivalent to 16. So as you can see, it has the same format with the second one, this one. Uh, x squared here is our w squared from our example, and a squared here is 4 squared from our example. So meaning to say, we can replace the value of w by a tangent theta, but in this case, our a is equivalent to 4. So meaning to say, uh, w is equivalent to 4 tangent of theta. Now, we also have to find the derivative of our w. So, we have dw is equivalent to 4 secant squared theta d theta. So, after we get this value, we need to substitute this to our equation here. So, dw that is equivalent to 4 secant squared theta d theta and then our w is 4 tan theta so we'll, we will be replacing that here we have 4 tan theta squared and then square root of 4 tangent theta squared plus 16 or 4 squared. So that's it. Afterwards, 4 is a constant number, so we can also move that outside. So we have 4 and then integral of sec squared or secant squared theta d theta and then the squared of this one. So we have 16 tangent squared theta and then the same inside the radical we have 16 tangent squared theta plus 16 afterwards 16 here is still constant so meaning to say we can also put that outside now 4 over 16 that is equivalent to 1 fourth so we can just put 1 fourth here. Afterwards, uh, we have to copy the numerator. We have secant squared theta, d theta. And then we have the remaining tangent squared theta. And then for the radical sign, as you can see, there is a common term between the two terms here. 16 is common, so we can factor our 16 here. Now, 16, we have tangent squared theta plus 1. So, we factored 16 since it is common. Now, as we know, uh, tangent squared theta plus 1 is equivalent to secant squared theta. So meaning to say we can uh, replace this one with its identity which is secant squared theta. So we have one fourth and then the integral of secant squared theta d theta and then we have the tangent 
squared theta, 16, and then the replacement of this one, which is equivalent to secant squared theta. Afterwards, since this is in radical, meaning to say we have to find the square root of this one. So we have 1 fourth and then secant squared theta d theta. We have the tangent squared theta and then the square root of 16 that is 4. So we have and then square root of second squared theta is secant square secant theta. So meaning to say we can cancel one secant here in the secant at the denominator. And then as you can see, one fourth is constant here, so we can put that outside. So we have one fourth times one fourth, that is one sixteen. And then copying the remaining integrand here we have secant theta d theta and then the tangent squared theta so as we know uh, 1 over tangent squared theta is equivalent to cotangent squared theta which is also equivalent to Cos second squared theta all over sine squared theta. Now for the secant theta, that is also equivalent to 1 over sine theta. Now the reason we are doing this one, the reason we are finding equivalent um, trigonometric functions is to easily cancel some terms here. So if we uh, substitute the values that we have here, we have 1 over 16. And then secant theta is 1 over sine. So we have sine theta here. And then for the tangent squared theta, that is equivalent to cosine squared theta. And then we have the uh, sine squared sorry this is equivalent to cosine theta right that should be 1 over cosine theta so we can just put sine squared here and then this one I will erase this one so this is equivalent to 1 over cosine theta and then this one is equivalent to cosine theta and then the d theta here and then as we know we can cancel this one here so the remaining integrand now is cosine theta d theta and then we have the sine squared theta. Okay, by u substitution, we can use u substitution here. So let's say our u is equivalent to sine theta. Then as we know, the derivative of our sine is cosine theta d theta. Now we can replace this equation here by u substitution. So we have 1 over 16 and then u raised to negative 2 because it is from the denominator. So if we put that into the numerator, we have to change or negate the sign. So we have u raised to negative 2 du. And then we can already integrate this easily using our formula. So we have 1 over 16. And then the integral of that is u raised to negative 1 over negative 1. Then we have the plus c. Now we have to replace the original value of our u. So we have 1 over 16. Since u has a power of negative, meaning to say we can put that back to the denominator. So we have 
this is negative so we have to put negative here and then we have the sine theta plus c but as we know 1 over sine theta is also equivalent to cos second theta right so we have 1 negative 1 over 16 cos second theta plus c but this is not yet the final answer since as you know our original variable that we used was w so meaning to say we also have to change the variable here to its original variable so to change that one as you can remember we use uh, from w is equal to 4 tangent theta from the substitution we used earlier we can get the value of our tangent theta now from the from this one tangent theta is said to be equal to w over 4 and as we know tangent is equivalent to opposite over adjacent so we have opposite over adjacent now if we plot this one into a right triangle so we will have opposite and if this is our angle the opposite side is here which is equivalent to w and then the adjacent side is here which is equivalent to 4 meaning to say our hypotenuse is equivalent to w squared plus 4 squared now since we have to get the value of our cosecant theta we need to find the uh, equivalent value from our right triangle now cos second theta is equivalent to hypotenuse over opposite so meaning to say hypotenuse from our right triangle is equivalent to square root of w squared plus 4 squared and the opposite from our triangle is equivalent to w so meaning to say we can replace cos second theta by this one so we now have negative 1 over 16 square root of w squared plus 4 squared all over w plus c so this is now our final answer so as you can see, we already replaced the theta to our original variable, which is w, w. So this is now our final answer. So I also did the solution of this one in a much uh, pleasant uh, way. So I will be pasting it here so that you can also see this clearly. So here so I hope you understand uh, and I hope you learned something from this video I will see you on the next video for another example still relating to trigonometric substitution thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos uh, relating to integral calculus thank you so much goodbye